Hetepu. My name is Jabari Osaze, and this is Ancient Wisdom Daily. Today's bit of wisdom that come to us on the beginning of our week at, on Monday um, comes to us from instructions that were written for a man who was to become king. You may remember that we've actually drawn from this wellspring of great uh, moral literature in other uh, moments on Ancient Wisdom Daily. This particular bit comes from the instructions addressed to the king, Merikara. And so, hopefully, this will help you build your kingdom. This will help you do those things that you were put here to do so that you can be the best person that you can possibly be, so that you can live a life of ma'at and of prosperity. This is what the author says. Do not destroy the monument of another, but quarry stone in Torah. Do not build your tombs out of ruins, using what has been made for what is to be made. Behold, the king is Lord of joy. Now, you may actually wonder, what is he talking about here when he says, don't destroy the monuments of another? Well, something that happened sometimes in ancient Kemet, in ancient Egypt, was that some rulers and some, not just rulers, but some folks who were building their tombs, building their monuments, would actually usurp the monuments and tombs of others. So Kemetic society lasts for over 3,000 years, so it's a very long period. Sometimes it was easier to take someone else's statue and to chisel out their name and to say that it was your statue. Sometimes it was easier to go into a tomb and say, you know what, I'm going to act like the person it was built for never lived here. It's my tomb now. And so the, in the instructions that are addressed to Mary Kara, they're saying, don't do that. Go and quarry your own stone in Torah. And here they're talking about the wonderful limestone that comes from that area. Now, what, what do, is he actually saying that actually may be helpful to you? Remember. You didn't get here on your own. Everyone has people on whose shoulders they stand. Let's recognize those people who have done great works and allow them to be lauded for those things that they gave to the world to allow us to return to divine balance. But then you should go ahead and do your own work. Create your own accomplishments. Build your own monuments. Where are your monuments in your life? When your time on this plane is complete, will you actually be able to say that you have built a number of monuments, that your body of work is enough that it will be as glorious as statues of gold or wonderful monuments in, in Torah limestone? Hopefully you're doing that, and you're doing that with respect to those things that other folks have done before you and that you're not trying to take from them. Instead, you're adding to this wonderful plane that we exist on. Hopefully, it is through you building your wonderful monuments that we will once again live in a righteous, balanced society. My name is Jabari Osazi, and this has been Ancient Wisdom Daily. Would you like to receive these tidbits of literature in your inbox every day? Would you like to be part of the conversation that we, can, that we have on our website around these tidbits of literature? Would you like to share your own or maybe even film your own for Ancient Wisdom Daily? Certainly these are things that you can do if you subscribe for us on our website. And make sure that you follow us on Facebook and that you're also part of our co a community on, on Twitter. And feel free to share these with your friends. I'm sure there are people that you know, family, friends, coworkers, who might actually uh, appreciate receiving this information. Make sure that you receive it, you send it to them, they receive it, and that they become part of the dialogue by subscribing on our website. Remember, Ancient Wisdom Daily is free, but the knowledge is quite valuable. Thank you so much, and we'll see you tomorrow.